Moments ago here in Manhattan, New York Attorney General Letitia James did not mince words in a strong rebuke of the former president. Here's what she had to say as she entered the courtroom for the third day of the state's fraud trial against Donald Trump and his company. Trump's comments were offensive, they were baseless, they were void of any facts and or any evidence. What they were were comments that unfortunately fomented violence, comments that I would describe as race baiting, and comments unfortunately that appeals to the bottom of our humanity. This case was brought simply because it was a case where individuals have engaged in a pattern and practice of fraud. And I will not sit idly by and allow anyone to subvert the law. And lastly, I will not be bullied. And so Mr. Trump is no longer here. The Donald Trump show is over. This was nothing more than a political stunt. I want to bring in MSNBC anchor Lindsay Reiser from outside the courthouse. Lindsay, what's going on? Well, the former president has left. We just confirmed that he's wheels up uh, away from here, lower Manhattan, Chris. The attorney general is still in court. You just heard from there basically calling this a campaign stop for him. Things got really fiery, Chris, before the break for lunch with Donald Bender, the former president's former accountant, on the stand. The judge getting frustrated with the repetitive nature of the cross-examination from Trump's attorneys, going property after property, year after year, saying, can't we lump this? all together. Also saying, how much longer is this going to take? At one point, joking, Bender's not the one on trial, someone else is. But then yelling, saying this is ridiculous and pounding on the bench. Trump's defense attorney saying that these charges were brought. This is his opportunity now to defend his client, saying he's never had to negotiate on how to question a witness. And that Bender was seeming only to recall what the government wanted him to recall. All the while, a former president was in the courtroom watching this, essentially uh, shaking his head as the the drama was unfolding in front of him. At times today in court, he held his arms up in the air. At one point during Bender's testimony, he even said, I can't hear a word he's saying. Bender seemed to hear him and was talking louder in the microphone. But we know that he has left courtroom for the day, unclear when and if he'll return. Uh, but, but this is what he told reporters during one of the breaks today. The bottom line is this is rigged. Because the judge does whatever he's going to do. He said that mar a was worth $18 million, and it's worth $1.5 billion or thereabouts. But he said it was worth $18 billion. So they defrauded us because he called me a fraud. He called me a fraud. So it was actually the Palm Beach County assessor who appraised the Mar-a-Lago value between 18 and $27.6 million, not the judge, not the attorney general. But Chris, we now know that Bender will return to the stand, but for now we are going to talk to witness number two. We're gonna hear from him rather. This is uh, uh, Cameron Harris of Whitley Penn, another CPA firm. Uh, we know that the former president will be back. He says that he will testify at the appropriate time. That is that the AG's office doesn't call on him first, Chris. All right, Lindsay Reiser, thank you.